So a while back, some of you guys may remember, I did a video on my main channel where I was talking about there was a, an arsonist who was burning down Kingdom Halls, and I talked about how I would like to see this person brought to justice. I don't want to see Kingdom Halls burned down. I don't like the institution of Jehovah's Witnesses. It's harmful. It's hurt people, so many people, in so many ways. And if you wonder how, just go look at my channel. Uh, in fact, just earlier today, I released a video about the abuse situation that's happening and why Jehovah's Witnesses are responsible for it. Like, why the governing body and the Watchtower Society, basically, are responsible for abuse cases. So give that a watch if you haven't. Long story short, people are rightfully upset with the Watchtower Society, with Jehovah's Witnesses. I, I out of anybody, understand why people are upset with Jehovah's Witnesses. But there's been this case of arson. There's an arsonist going around, and this has been going on for like a year now. They've been go finding Kingdom Halls and burning them down. And I talked about this on my main channel forever ago, but apparently it's still happening. So let's give this article a read and see what it has to say. Authorities have increased the reward for information on a series of attacks against Jehovah's Witnesses worship centers in Thurston and Pierce counties in uh, the Seattle, Washington area. The FBI on Friday added $25,000 to the reward fund, bringing the total reward to $61,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for the attacks, said Jason Chuddy, <laughs> awesome last name, said Jason Chuddy of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives. So I guess it's ATFE. I didn't know that they, that explosives were included in ATF. Maybe that's a new thing. Chuddy, I think, or Chudy? I don't know. Chuddy. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll call him Chuddy. Chuddy said the ATF is also offering $25,000. The Arson Alarm Foundation is offering a reward from its annual $10,000 fund, and the Thurston County Sheriff's Office is offering up to another $1,000 through Crime Stoppers of South Sound. There have been six separate attacks on Kingdom Hall and Assembly Halls of the Jehovah's Witnesses in Thurston County, and one attack in Pierce County since March 2018. They are March 19th, 2018, two arson attacks, one at a Tumwater Kingdom Hall and the second at a Kingdom Hall on Kane Road in Olympia. Damage to both was minor, limited to the exterior structures. May 15th, 2018, an unknown suspect or suspects shot and struck a Kingdom Hall in Yelm with about 35 223 rifle rounds, causing more than $10,000 in damage to the structure. I remember that one. July 3rd, 2018, an arson completely destroyed the Olympia Kingdom Hall on Kane Road. This was the same Kingdom Hall that was damaged in the March 19th attack. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that they were connected. August 8th, 2018, a fire was set against the back fence at the rear of the Kingdom Hall in Yelm, but members were able to put the fire out. Okay. That's something. This fire caused minimal damage to the fence and a back wall of the Kingdom Hall. This is the same location where someone fired rifle rounds at it on May 15th. Okay, so I guess people were targeting specific Kingdom Halls, and when one attack failed, um, they went with another. December 7th, 2018, an arson completely destroyed the Lacey Kingdom Hall on 6th Avenue Southeast. And then August 13th, 2019. So last one was December 7th, 2018. This n next one that happened was August 13th, 2019. And so far, it's the last attack, uh, a, a little bit under a month ago now. A fire was set at the Poyalup Assembly Hall on 62nd Avenue East, causing relatively minor damage to an outside wall and overhang. So it was an attempted, uh, they attempted to burn the whole thing down, but they only got part of it. All of the incidents were located in close proximity to each other, and it's believed that they're related. The ATF is working closely with multiple local law enforcement agencies in these ongoing investigations. No injuries have been reported in any of the incidents. From my understanding, they attacked the Kingdom Halls when nobody was there, which is something. But I'm sorry, you know what this is doing? Literally nothing. It's not helping anybody. No, you know who it's helping? It's helping Jehovah's Witnesses. You didn't accomplish anything but further their persecution complex. That's it. That's what you did. That's what you accomplished. You are helping them right now. Because look, you have this report, this, this news report, turning them into a victim, rightfully so, because they are. They're victims here. They are victims of a crime. And you know what the outside world thinks when they see that? They think those poor Jehovah's Witnesses didn't do anything to anybody. They don't deserve this. You are not helping. 
you're hurting. You're hurting the cause. FYI, if anybody has information on this, on the fires or the shooting or anything, call ATF's toll-free hotline at 888-ATF-TIPS, 888-283-8477. Crime Stoppers of South Sound at 1-800-222-8477 or the Arson Alarm Foundation at 1-800-55-ARSON. Callers may remain anonymous. Please call because this is actually hurting the cause every time somebody does this. And I'm not just looking out for the cause. I'm not lo- just looking out for the activism here. I'm looking out for the safety of human beings. Jehovah's Witness or not, they're humans. It's not okay to do this to anybody, period. ATF officials say they believe the attacker or attackers have a grievance related to the Jehovah's Witness community and that the attacks are intended to send a message. The person responsible may have shared those feelings with others before the attacks. Investigators also say the individual or individuals may also have exhibited changes in behavior in the hours and days since the fires. Some of those changes may have included an unexplained altering of physical appearance, a change in normal routines such as missing work, classes or appointments, unexplained injuries, or an intense interest in the investigation. I have an audience of 135,000 people, largely ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. If you know what's going on or you suspect that you may know who may be involved, please do something about this. This is actively hurting us. I know that you're upset here. I know that you don't like what Jehovah's Witnesses are doing. I don't either. A lot of us don't. Basically, I I feel confident in saying all 135,000 subscribers of mine don't like what Jehovah's Witnesses are doing, or the vast majority. We are all with you on this. It's not helpful. It is outright harmful. Seriously, if you have information on this, please put a stop to it. This is not helping us. 1-888-283-8477. Somebody please call and report this anonymously if need be. If you like what I do and you want to make sure I can continue to do it, you can support me in a few ways. First, you can support me on Patreon. That's probably the best way. But if you want to get something back for your support, you can check out my Teespring. I'm trying to make a shirt design for every cult I've covered. I haven't gotten every one, but I'm working on it. So check it out and see if your cult is up there. Second, you can support me by checking out my game shop. I sell controller, cartridge, and game box stands for every system from the original Nintendo and Sega Game Gear to the Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. So give that a look too. And finally, if you want to support me in some way other than monetarily, you can check out my other YouTube channels. I have a retro game channel where I answer questions like, why does Shy Guy have a mask? And why are CRT TVs the best way to play retro games? I also have the podcast where I talk about stuff I don't feel I can say on a monetized channel. And finally, I have my main channel, where I talk about cults. I wish I didn't have to worry about dancing around subjects carefully in the first place, but I chose to do this as a full-time job, so unfortunately, I rely on YouTube's AdSense and on the support of patrons to continue doing the work I do. Anyways, check me out in all those places if you haven't already. Thanks for listening, guys.